Red Reviews, the podcast where we talk about a variety of books with a Marxist and anarchist perspective. And I'm joined by Justin Clark. Thanks, thanks for joining me, Justin. Hi, Corey. It's always good to see you. Thank you, uh, oh, as always, for that wonderful introduction. I'm really looking forward to chatting about this book tonight because it is one where I think I think I'm going to I'm going to try my best to do some and rectify something that I think I, I haven't really done uh, or done well, which is we've talked about Lenin a lot on this show. OK, yeah, I think and that's a fair. lot of it and a lot of it is, is I wouldn't say like laudatory, but a lot of it we tend to be more like even handed with it. Pretty positive, generally. pretty positive in general. So tonight is going to be an exception to that because I oh, feel no. like we are going to get into talking about some of, I think, a lot of the, some of the fundamental flaws that exist okay. within Leninism itself okay, um, and why the book we're talking about tonight is, I think, so crucial for understanding that. So tonight's book is Lenin as Philosopher, a Critical Examination of the Philosophical Basis of Leninism by Anton Panacek. Okay. Now, there are numerous books written about Lenin as a sort of political theorist. Right. There are many written about him as a revolutionary figure. Yep. There are many written from the perspective of him as a politician. And we sort of talked about that in the episode on Marcia Liebman's book. Because Lenin was not just a theoretician, but he or a revolutionary, he was also a politician who could be pragmatic, who could often appear as if he was contradicting himself, would do things that uh, and, and made decisions that seemed counter to a lot of what his theoretical work had outlined. Uh, yep. And Panacek's yes. perspective is that that whole thing that you think of like, well, he's actually subverting, like he's not, he's like subverting Marxism or he's not really, you know, he's not doing Marxism right. And Panacek essentially makes the conclusion it's because he's not really doing Marxism at all. 